basketball coach Greg Gard's efforts to raise money in the fight against cancer continues May 5th with the second annual Guarding Against Cancer event. Inspired by his father, Glenn, it'll be held at the Cole Center. That's where we find Coach Gard right now getting ready for his team's season and reception. Coach, thanks for taking time to be with us tonight. You bet. Thanks for having me on. Now, Greg, you raised $1.3 million to fight cancer uh, through your efforts. Just in the last year through Guarding Against Cancer, the Badger backers, they've really uh, stepped up for you here, right? Yeah, I think the, you know, the state of Wisconsin has been phenomenal in terms of their support for Guarding Against Cancer. And really the whole premise behind Michelle and I starting this foundation two years ago was to keep all the funds and the resources at work and, and helping the residents of Wisconsin. And obviously to help a, have a research institute like the Carbone Center right here in Madison and all their great people there. Uh, and then be able to travel around the state and help in various areas uh, has been a great experience for us and hopefully we've been able to help make a difference around the state but also with what we're doing and funding research and patient care at the Carbone Center as well. Yeah, every dollar helps, that's for sure. So tell us about this year's event. I guess country was the theme last year, a big hit, so you're bringing it back? Yeah, it was. It was so popular that we had to, by demand, it was uh, requested to come back. So we'll have a uh, a country theme in terms of attire and wardrobe for the night, so I'll have my dust off my cowboy hat and my boots <laughs> that night, and we'll have Madison County playing, playing at the end of the night. Uh, so it's a great, you know, uh, a casual event. Uh, we have great speakers lined up, and we'll have a great event, obviously capped off by Madison County uh, playing at night's end. So we're looking forward to, to next Saturday night on May 5th uh, here at the Cole Center. And those that maybe want to still attend or join in in sponsorships can go to guardingagainstcancer.org to find more information. And this is a year-round effort on your part in this fight against cancer, is it correct? Yeah, it is. We've actually traveled around the state. Last year we did an event in Menominee and we were able to help in the, in, with the Community Foundation of Dunn County in helping cancer patients that couldn't afford prescription medications help supplement those prescriptions as well as some free screening days. And then also we were able to, to do an event in Wisconsin Dells. And then this year in, in 2018, we'll be doing uh, an event in September in Oshkosh. And obviously that coincides with our exhibition game against UW Oshkosh uh, here in November. And then we'll also be traveling to Wausau in the northern part of the state to do an event there, as well as our uh, big event here in Madison and, and other things that we have, smaller events around the state. And that's really kind of our mission is to not only help here with research and all the things that are going on so well at the Carbone Center, but also reach and help people across the state. Well, it's incredible work you and Michelle are doing on this. And let's talk a little basketball. You're <laughs> celebrating the, the season, I guess, tonight, your, your year-end reception. It wasn't the kind of season you wanted to, but you saw some good things uh, late in the year, and you got a lot of guys coming back next year. Yeah, we do. Pretty much everybody's coming back. And I think that's been the nice thing about watching this group mature. We had a gap of experience that we had to fill in being so young this year and, and obviously a few guys or a couple guys, key guys got hurt early in the season. So to be able to fight through a year and fight through the adversity and finish how we did uh, was a great sign for the future. I know our guys are excited. We actually just finished our, our last spring workout this afternoon just about 10 minutes ago. So um, they're excited to go into the next phase. The next month they'll be on their own after finals finish up at home and then they'll come back in here uh, in the middle part of June and we'll get ready to go through the summer and uh, you know, look forward to what's going to happen next year. Well, it's, it's good to have most of the guys back on the floor that were, uh, that were hurt during the season. It's good to see their faces back and, and their efforts. And I don't want to let you go without asking about Ethan. Are you still recruiting him? Are you trying to get him to come back? I know he's, <laughs> he's testing the NBA draft waters. How do you handle that process? You did it with Nigel a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah I think the best thing to, in, you know, everybody wants to, or every uh, player at this level wants to try to play beyond college. And I think the more you can do to try to help those individuals, those athletes go through that process and support them and let them experience that. And I think it's the nice thing about having this, uh, you know, so, so called test the waters phase that they can do and go through without an agent and still come back to school is very healthy for the individual and allows Ethan to go through and get feedback and get some experience. Uh, so it's I've been in contact with Ethan almost daily. Uh, he's doing a good job of getting ready, and then he'll be getting some feedback from various teams over the next few weeks, and, and we'll make decisions going forward through the rest of May. All right. uh, but he has until May 30th to decide whether he's going to come back or stay in the draft. So we got a little bit more time yet to uh, gather more information and, and get feedback on where he's at. Well, come on back, Ethan. Yeah, Great to see fingers, you, Greg. Fingers crossed, and uh, raise a lot of money coming up.
Best of luck in your event, Greg. Thanks, oh, as thank always. You. And as he said, if you want to learn more about it, how you can be a part of it, including sponsorship uh, opportunities, just go to guardingagainstcancer.org. Yeah, it raised a lot of money. Yep.